Hello, everyone, and welcome to the MicroStation Connect Edition Visualization Video Series. My name is Steve Rick, Senior Consultant at Bentley Systems. We're going to jump right into this. We're going to start off with how to set up a camera. So, I've launched MicroStation Connect Edition. I'm going to load the workspace, Bentley Connect Training and the work set visualization. I'm going to hit browse and I'm going to load the DGN file A under bar station model under bar MS. All right, so you may notice that when we open up the file, we open up into a camera view already. All right, I have a number of camera views saved in this data set, so we can we can do that. But it's very, very important to learn how to properly set up a camera view. I'm going to restore down view two here and move my cursor to the lower left hand corner, click and drag that view up into the upper right hand corner. When setting up a camera inside of MicroStation Connect Edition, the easiest way to do it is to have multiple views open. So I have a my view number one is a top view. My view number three is a front elevation. And my view number two is where my camera view is going to show up. So what we need to do is we need to go to the place camera tools. So I'm going to load the visualization workflow. I'm going to go to the home tab over to the camera group and select the command place camera. Now, the biggest mistake that people make when they're placing a camera is they forget to read the prompts. The first data point or the first left click that I enter, if you look at the prompt in the lower left hand corner, it says select active view. So the first click that I make is going to tell MicroStation which view I want my perspective to show up in or my camera view to show up in. So I'm going to click in view number two. Now I'm going to set my camera settings in my window, my settings window. I want my standard lens to be set to wide. Now give me a wide angle lens. That sets the angle and the focal length for me. I'm going to turn on camera height and target height, and I'm going to place my camera height, that's my eye point, at 2 meters or 2,000 millimeters. And where I'm looking at my target is also going to be set at 2,000 millimeters. This will offset the camera from wherever I select in the top view, 2,000 millimeters off the ground. The next prompt down here in the lower left-hand corner is define camera position. Now, I'm going to stand on this median here, and I'm going to look at my building. Notice also that I have my snaps turned off. If I have my snaps on and I snap to this curb, that's going to set my eye point height at the uh, elevation of the curb, which is zero. So uh, I don't want to snap here. I'm going to turn my snaps off. I'm going to stand on this medium. I'm going to left click. That tells MicroStation that's where I'm standing. And then I'm going to look through my building. I don't want to stop my target point. So this is my target point. I don't want to stop my target point short of my building. It looks proportionally better if I look through the object of interest. Also, the cone that you see, or the triangle that you see on your screen, is my camera angle, my view angle. So everything that's inside that triangle is going to be seen in my view. So I want to get that bus on the outer median there, and I want to get the car in the front there. So, uh, and I also want to look through my building. I'm going to left click here, and you'll see the view come up in view number two. Very, very important that we save this view, um, and I'll show you why a little bit later. So I'm going to go to the View tab, and I'm going to click on the hands up at the top, and I'm going to name this View from Parking. 
and then left click in view number two. That's the view I want to say. I'm going to maximize view number two. You're going to see that the view looks smaller, it doesn't fill up the screen, or doesn't fill up the view as much as uh, when I saved it, when it was smaller. So we just have to recall that saved view. I'm going to hit the dialog launcher in the saved view group. I'm going to double click on view from parking. That's the one we just saved. And then left click in view number two. And there we have it. A nice camera view, good proportions, and everything that's in the cone is visible. Now I'm going to place into a rendering. So I'm going to go back to the home tab and the rendering group and click on render scene. And there you go. Also, you can see some trees in the background. You did not see that in the view because those trees are ecosystems. Same thing with the flowers in the planter on the side of the building. That's an ecosystem. You can't see ecosystems in a smooth rendered view. We'll teach you about ecosystems a little bit later on in another video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.